Bruce Ossaway is the sole owner of a cash crop operation near Abernethy, Saskatchewan. It was a summer day like any other on Bruce's farm when he set off on his tractor to do some stone picking. He was completely unaware of the 66-hour ordeal that would follow. This was probably the second or third time I'd used this rock picker because previous to this, this time, uh, we used to pick stones by hand on the farm. So it was kind of a, well, something you were kind of looking forward to. And so I went and I picked a, a couple of loads of stones and uh, emptied them and came back and started picking the third load. And suddenly the machine went into transport position and it wouldn't come out of transport. I got what I thought was something that you could bang on, kind of using it as a bar to knock the transport arm out of place. The longest thing I had on the tractor was a, a small pipe wrench. So I put the pipe wrench along a ledge. The end of the pipe wrench being rounded, it kept falling off the transport arm. So I took my left hand to hold the pipe wrench in place. And as I was holding the pipe wrench in place, I hit it twice and the transport arm came free all right, but down came the whole real support system on top of my hand. I started banging on the side of the rock picker with a hammer you know, and screaming for help. Well, after three or four hours of screaming for help, you didn't have much of a voice left to scream for anything. That first night was a very difficult time, uh, Thursday night. This was about 7.20 in the evening that this happened. And it got extremely cool that night, and the wind stayed up. With his dog to keep him warm, Bruce survived Thursday and Friday night. By Saturday morning, he had lost hope that someone would find him. Hungry, hallucinating, and in excruciating pain, Bruce made a decision that would save his life. I, I started to pray specifically for, for two things, actually, for a miracle and for, for, uh, for the ability to, to do what I had to do in as much as cutting off my hand or my fingers. The amount of time that it took to cut those fingers off, I can't even say exactly how long it was. But I know I started sometime around 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And I, I used just about every tool that Swiss Army Knife had. They, they have scissors there, they have pliers, and they have, have blades, right? And uh, I used them all to get through that. And it was a, a very slow, painful process. Bruce had set himself free by cutting off his thumb and little finger. His hand was so mangled it couldn't be saved. It was amputated soon after his arrival at the hospital. Due to economic constraints, many farmers are forced to work alone. But there are safety precautions that can help lower the risk of serious accidents like the one Bruce experienced. We use farm equipment for a very limited amount of time every year. So we have to re-familiarize ourselves with that equipment every time we use it again. I think that that labeling is, is very important, manufacturers labeling, and they seem to be doing a better job now. Keeping a cell phone on your person at all times is a good idea, but many rural areas are unable to carry a signal. For this reason, Bruce uses a radio phone that stays in his tractor. Because of its size, he is unable to carry it on him, but without that phone, he may not have reached help on time. Instead of losing his hand, he could have lost his life. The key is to accept what's happened and to move on because no matter what, nothing is going to bring that hand back. It's gone and life for me goes on. For more information on Bruce's story, visit www.cfa-fca.ca and remember, farm safety means farm safely.